keep going this way. I'm unfortunately going to have to come back the way I came. Basically, if you if you just watched, um, the way I came is the way to get back because once you go into that little area that Pate warns you about, the gate closes down there, as you can see. You can't get back through that way at all because Pate is a dirty, dirty thief. Well, I hope that yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, just, I'm just gonna, I'm, yeah, okay. I'm just gonna keep doing it. Okay. Yeah, he, alright, he's out of talk. So I just, I just kind of mashed through that real quick so I can get the soapstone, the white soapstone, the normal one, so. I'll fight these guys. They give me a little extra more souls. Why not? Oh, wow, this guy did not get killed by that. But you know what I will do? I think I'm gonna run, actually. Now that I think about it, I really don't want to fight these guys again. <laughs> I'm actually just gonna run all the way back to the bonfire. That's what I'm gonna do. <laughs> Realize I almost have 5k souls and I really would appreciate not losing that that much of amount of souls. So let's travel. Let's go back to Majula, actually. Um, we're gonna use those souls to level up and I can unlock the blacksmith's area for him and I can start leveling up my weapons, which not not a bad not a bad thing to do, to be honest. I hate loading screens. Sorry, I just kind of got quite really quiet for a moment there. All right, back to Majula. Talk yeah, to the Emerald Herald. No, shut up. Yeah, 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 yeah. Blah blah blah. Deep philosophy. Blah blah blah. Blah blah blah. No one cares. Blah blah blah. It's because I got one of the flask shards, so I can upgrade it. And they try to tell you what the fuck? How's that guy like have a bone face? I bet that must be some kind of covenant. Covenants is a gamer. Fun. <laughs> Alright, so I maybe have three or four levels up level ups and um I don't know what I want to put them in. So my sword I'm pretty sure goes off of just strength, which yes, that is true. This um increases your life by quite a bit. Um, endurance to stamina and life. I'm pretty sure everything in this game, yeah, they changed it where everything gives you a life point one way or another. Um, at this point in the game, though, I probably want to get stamina. Yeah, I'll get like three points in stamina. Like one in strength. No, I'm not even going to worry about that. I'm going to get it in uh, vigor. Alright, so that looks good. Up to a thousand life. They're not that bad. Or just like zooping all my souls away. I don't know why she just can't keep giving me souls or something. That would be kind of nice. Alright, so went ahead and unlocked that for him. But first. Yeah. So now he can actually get to work, and I'll, once I come back, I uh, practically just <laughs> travel <laughs> and then come right back. Um, he will have that that blacksmith shop opened and I can start upgrading my weapons which in this game is the thing you have to do if you want to keep winning your battles <laughs> I think I'm pretty sure that's how it works I hope that's how it works that's how I beat the first one not much enemies can say about the plus 15 Uchi katana let me tell you when I'm hitting like almost 600 on bosses every single boss it's kind of ridiculous I think, um, I think the Uchi Katanas in this game, they actually added a little more Katanas, uh, which is nice, because, uh, they, they really didn't have that many in the first game. They had the Uchi Katana, and I think they only had the Washing Pole, and that was it. Washing Pole's terrible. Um, so, oh crap, I do have to go all the way back through this, though. Really? Oh, uh, stamina. This is why I get endurance. Because <laughs> without endurance, I won't be able to do crap. Oh, God, God. My timing is terrible. There you go. I'll take your item, please. Thank you. Well, I mean, I'm not going to wear them, because you were wearing them. I don't want to wear your dirty, hollow soldier leggings. Um, so... Let's actually go this way. So I'm going to loop around here, go back the way I went before to get back to that area that was 
blocked off. Oh, I should just be attacking you. What am I doing? Oh, oh my god, this is... Oh, what am I... Oh, I'm such a noob at this game. God, this is why I haven't beaten it yet. Also because I'm... Am I, am, am I stuck at a boss in my other playthrough? I don't think I am. All I know is that I played against, or I, I just beat the uh, the Looking Glass Knight and or the Mirror Knight or whatever people call him, and I I really liked the battle, but I did not like the fact that he can summon NPCs, and I also do not like enjoy the fact that I heard that in New Game Plus he will be able to summon online players, and that just sounds not fun at all. So I kind of just backed myself into another corner again. This is, that's what I love doing. Alright, but it seems like I'm okay now. Oh, you kind of just messed up there. Should have done something else besides just swing your shield at me. I was kind of hoping I could jump over and grab that item up there, but I don't... I don't... I guess I can't reach it or something. So, just throw this open. And mail breaker and infantry helmet. So, if I remember correctly, the infantry helmet is actually a pretty good helmet... Uh, yeah, it's actually pretty good, so I am totally going to wear that. Um, I learned that the difference, or the ability to, to do light rolls, um, if you look at the bottom right, right above the soles, is the weight load that you have at the time. 49 is my max, and 26.9 is what I'm wearing right now, and my total amount uh, is 54.9%. I learned that you will stop doing the light roll at 70%, which is this roll, which is... Normal, normal roll like normal people, I guess, would roll. Um, but, yeah, yeah, at 70 you start doing the fat roll, which is one of the most despicable things in this game. I despise it, certainly. Um, I mean, there was one time or another where I actually did play... What the hell? How did you break through my shield? Seriously? Did you just really just break through it? Well, I went a little too far that time. So now this is all messed up. Actually kind of found a system to fighting these guys. Yep, just keep them doing this. <laughs> Make a better AI, they said. They failed, they said. Yeah, that was... That was a little ridiculous, to be honest. <laughs> oh well, not my not my fault they made some shoddy AIs for some of these enemies. So, life gem, homeward bone, will not complain about the life gem. Don't really care for the homeward bone. I really only use those in certain situations. Especially if I'm grinding in like an area that the, the, the trail that I am doing is pretty long. And I'll just use the... What the fuck? Why did I get stunned? Um, and so I'll try and not just completely have to backtrack and I can work this way again. Well, now you're dead. You had like literally no life. He's gonna try and do that. I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna let him live after that. He failed. Congratulations. Go back to college. Get a degree in something. I'm not lying though. Like, they can go back to college. I know they can. Because there are academies in this game. You hear all about them in the lore and stuff. Uh, they're mostly magicians though, so... Oh, I should have kept going. Oh, no. Oh, no, 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 no. Whoo. That was almost bad. That guy just totally fell off the edge. I knew that there was... A oh. Okay. <laughs> All right. <laughs> Apparently those guys didn't want to live anymore. We have nothing to live for. <laughs> They failed getting. They failed their ambush. They just. They had to commit seppuku, and then they didn't have a uh, a dagger to commit seppuku with, so they decided just to jump off the big sword. <laughs> All right, so over here, I'm. It's. I'm not gonna be able to get it. Okay, I got it. Never mind. Sweet Titanite shard. Awesome. You know, curious question: Is that what Titanite looks like? Is that what the because, like, I know, like, it's supposed to be black, like, a slick, like, obsidian-like material, I feel like. Um, at least that's what it looks like in the pictures. But, I mean, this guy has 
a blue back. I assumed he's always like one of those twinking titanite uh, bugs, but he's not because he didn't drop one when I killed him. Oh well, whatever. All right, so pick up this. Got some fire arrows. Almost totally fell off that edge there. But now we can go up here. And up here, I think, is the bonfire again. Yeah. Sweet. So I'm going to rest up, and we are going to try and tackle our first boss, uh, the Lost Giant. <laughs> he is... He's not hard, per se, uh, but if you mess up even a little bit, you will certainly... Who's this guy? Sephiris. Yeah, I don't want your help. I'm sorry. Um, he's definitely... He, he's, he hits like a truck, that's for sure, but I think that's kind of obvious, considering his stature is a giant, and uh, he's pretty hardcore, and if any of you have never watched Dark Souls uh, being played, um, what the hell are you doing on my channel watching me play it? Uh, but you'll see some pretty hardcore uh, stuff that will happen with him. Is this a... Oh, hey, it is. Wow, I did not know you could actually summon him for this fight. And yes, I am. I am going to summon him for this fight. People you, uh, people are probably going to tell me I am, I'm cheating it, and it's not really beating him, but I did not know I could actually summon mild-mannered Pete for this. Pay, pay, I'm sorry, not Pete. Guy, the, the guy basically just like broke out of all of his shackles and has a gigantic spear and a bunch of swords stuck in him. He's just he's he's a boss, and I don't mean that in the literal sense. I I he's 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 hardcore. So let's not get that. Let's actually. So how much damage am I dealing on him? Fifty nine. Oh, okay. That's no damage at all. Oh, roll. All right. So if I remember correctly, his patterns were pretty simple to memorize. Um, it's usually uh, it's it's well known that you want to stay around his feet and just keep dodging his his stomps and then keep poking at his feet when you can. Oh God! And I messed that up. Please stay away from me. Um, but yeah, you you. Basically, you want to stay around his feet. Uh, whenever he stomps, you just run up, poke him two times, back off. Gosh. Um, yeah, just kind of back off a little bit. I do not like being up against this wall, though. Pate, get out of the way. Go back this way, Pate. Probably just healed when I shouldn't have. Oh, I'm good. And, oh, this is when he rips off his arm. And he decides he's going to use his arm as a weapon. It's kind of hardcore, actually. That's that's not bad at all. Um, I think I will be able to do this on my first go. Um, I'll be pretty satisfied with myself if I can do that. I mean, Pate is kind of helping with aggro. Um, but at the same time, I am staying in his radius of his attacks, so it's not like I'm missing missing out on him, on the chance, the off chance of him killing me uh, with his stomps. So, I mean, I'm not going to complain. Oh, fuck! Shit! Get, oh! No, don't go back that way, then. Pate, Pate, save me. Oh, you're saving me, Pate. Good job. Pate, I swear, we'll beat him together. Sweet. All right, there you go. That was the first boss. Well, <laughs> is there is the first recommended um, boss of this game. Uh, 
he's pretty simple. Uh, you know, like I said, just stay around his feet. And uh, when he stomps, just roll out of the way. Do not try and block it, uh, for the love of God. I am warning you right now. Um, <laughs> and if you beat him, congratulations. I mean, you beat the first boss, you're on your way to even harder bosses. <laughs> I actually have a couple choices here now. Um, I can either go fight the Pursuer, who is hard, unless you can get the Ballistas to work. Um, you you can it practically, I'll, I'll call it as it is, it, it is a one shot you can hit on the next boss. Um, using the Ballistas in the area, uh, it's incredibly hard to set up because you cannot summon an NPC Phantom for him. So he is constantly on you. He is incredibly aggravated. He will always be on you at all times. And his attacks are just devastating. Um, my first run through, I was lucky enough that I got him to do the combo, his combo attack, right in front of me. Um, which was right in front of one of the, uh, <laughs> the, um, the ballistas. And I just ran through and I, I used the ballista and killed him in one shot. Um, am I proud of myself? Uh, yeah, I would say. Um, I didn't beat the Pursuer legitimately, but at the same time, my philosophy of playing games like this is if you are given items in the environment to use to beat a boss, you use it. Uh, if you ever tried to fight the Dragon King in Demon Souls, the first ever game of the series, that's a that's a not connected to the Dark Souls world, if you tried to fight that boss, you would lose because you literally had to use uh, gigantic spear ballistas to weaken him in order to fight him. And I mean, if that's cheating, then that's cheating. If you want to take it like that is, then go ahead. I doubt you will actually beat him without using those. But um, I think I'm going to end the video here. Uh, I mean, this is my first recording. It's been an hour or an hour 30 almost. So um, I hope you guys enjoyed. I hope you guys liked watching. If you want leave a comment, maybe like it, uh, or subscribe if you really want to be friendly and kind of give me your support for my early adventures and trying to start my YouTube um, career, I guess I can call it. But otherwise, uh, keep a lookout for me in the future, and I'll talk to you guys later. Bye.